friends, I'm Mo Midlow with Unforsaken Women. How many of us have experienced the middle of the night phone calls? Or the sirens racing up your street? Or the helicopters hovering over your home? There are just certain things that happen in this fallen world that induce all our sensory nerves to kick into full swing, amen? What if I told you that you could live in this fallen dark world fearless? No, I'm not gonna tell you that you won't feel fear. I'm simply saying you don't have to bow down to it anymore. I have made a decision to not allow fear to plague my thinking one more day because fear paralyzes us. And I just can't be caught standing still knowing this world has so many lost souls that still need to hear the gospel. I won't bow down to fear anymore because I won't waste another breath that God has given me, handing my days over to the enemy. And that is exactly where fear comes from. Do you know that the second you were conceived, God had already designed a plan for your life, and so did Satan. God's plan is to prosper you and not to harm you. His plan involves hope and a future for you. The Bible says Satan's plan is to steal, kill, and destroy you, and to keep you from experiencing God's plans for your life. And guess what? When we bow down to fear, the devil wins. He steals your joy, kills your witness, and destroys your mood. But we can learn to say, no devil, not today. In John 16, Jesus says, I've told you these things so that in me you may have peace. In this world, you will have trouble, but take heart, I have overcome the world. Jesus says, in who will you have peace? In him. We are overcomers, and we can experience the peace that Jesus says is available to us when we're in him, because Jesus already overcame the world. One of the finished works of the cross is freedom in Christ, but we have to take hold of that freedom that Jesus died for us to have. We have to walk it out by faith. We walk out our freedom by calling on the name of Jesus, taking authority over the devil, and using the word of God to beat the devil every time. Yes, the truth is we have to fight the good fight of faith, but if you want freedom from fears and the anxieties of life, I promise you it's worth the fight. Jesus fought the enemy with the word of God and we need to do the same. Over and over in the word, we see Jesus saying, it is written. Jesus spoke the word out loud at the enemy and he had to flee. Do you know that you have the same power? You have the same authority as Jesus had to fight the enemy and win. You have the name of Jesus and the word of God. And those two weapons used properly together in spiritual warfare are unstoppable and unbeatable. You simply must know how to fight. Friends, you must hide the word in your heart and be prepared to let it roll off your tongue the second you recognize yourself getting into fear. You must speak out loud those three courageous words that Jesus spoke, it is written. And you must be prepared to fight the good fight of faith by calling on the name of Jesus, the name of Jesus that holds all power and authority the name that leads us into the peace that Jesus died so that we can walk in. Yes, you can live a life here on earth fearless. You simply must trust in the name of Jesus and the word of God, and you will be victorious. For more on renewing your mind in the word of God, I'm Mo Midlow. Thanks for watching. Check out my website, unforsakenministries.com.